guys, I want to teach you today the antenatal examination on, on the patient and uh, today I'm going to show you how to actually perform. Before we start performing, it is important that we greet the patient, check the identity, introduce ourselves and introduce the procedure itself. There are several reasons why we do it. Uh, one of them is a breach presentation that you might have uh, heard of uh, very commonly. Explain to the patient what you want to do and uh, so that you can determine uh, whether the patient needs a normal vaginal delivery or any C-section or any other way of uh, delivery can be recommended. Before we start, it is important that you lie the patient on the back, especially if the patient is in their advanced age of the gestation, you may need to turn the patient slightly towards the left side because it can cause pressure on the inferior vena cava and can cause complications. So lie the patient on the back and expose the patient appropriately. The exposure that you need is between the pubic symphysis and the Zephy sternum. And make sure that you have all the material that you need for this procedure before you start. You do not want to just uh, leave in between and uh, uh, find the material. So this is what you need. This is called the Pinard stethoscope and you need uh, tape measure to complete this assessment. Now I'm going to simply explain uh, and show you how to perform. There are four grips that you need to do during the palpation. Before you do the palpation, make sure that you do a thorough inspection of the patient after the patient is exposed and position has been achieved. Look for any abnormality, any visible scar mark, any visible fetal movements that you can see when you are close to the patient. So I'm going to show you this on a mannequin. So without any delay, let's start. Okay, now we have this uh, uh, mannequin today. As I mentioned, you need the exposure between the pubic symphysis and the Zephy sternum. The next thing that you need to do is go closer and look for any abnormality, any scar mark or any visible fetal movement. Comment on that if you can find any abnormality. Then the next thing is put your hands on the, uh, just under the Zephy sternum to find out the fundal height and put the other hand on the opposite side so that you can find it and slide it downwards until you can feel the top end of the fundus. This is a fundal height and then you try to feel what organ is lying in there. So th this is the fundal grip. The next thing that you want to do is uh, uh, umbilical grips. There are two umbilical grips, the right lateral and the left lateral. Put your hand on the opposite side and feel the part of the fetus on the left side. Similarly, repeat the procedure on the opposite side. So you have felt the fundal grip, left lateral and the right lateral. At the end, feel the pelvic grip to find out the engaging part of the fetus and see if this is a breech presentation or normal presentation. Normally the head should be the presenting part. If you can feel something else, which is not the head, so it is a breech presentation. In that case, you need to take the special care and discuss with your seniors as well. So feel the fundal uh, pelvic grip and then check the fundal height. The fundal height should be corresponding to the gestational age plus minus two. I'm going to show you how you can get the fundal height. Feel the pubic symphysis, put it here and the top of the fundus and just simply look on the opposite side. This is 35, if I can show you, 35 plus minus two should be the ideal gestational age. At the end, using this pinard stethoscope, listen the cardiac sounds of the fetus. Where you need to listen is on the back side of the fetus between the two shoulder blades. How you can determine that you are in the right position? Feel for the flat curved surface and put it in the middle of that. 
making sure that you do not touch it and this wider part should go on the tummy of the mum. Put it here and put your ear on the opposite side and do not touch this when you are listening. At the same time, feel the pulse of the mum so that you are not mixing it with the mum's pulse. After you are done this, simply cover the patient, thank the patient and complete your documentation. That's all about this. If you have any question, you should read more about it, watch the video, practice more so that you can see the patient comfortably and skillfully. Thank you.